Hello singers! Welcome to the fifth video of the fast reading session. Today's aria is Scarlatti's Già il sole dal gange. But before we start, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my videos and my channel so that you can support my project. Thank you! Let's get started. Già. This is the first word. So let's start. Già. 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 Già il sole. You try. Già il sole dal gange. And you can hear that you have plenty of ja 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 and then you have g g of gange. Già il sole dal gange. You try. Careful with the G's. And the N is a nasalized N like gange, gange, not ganage. Don't do that. Già il sole, articulation, sole, già il sole, you, dal gange. When you do these exercises, record your voice so that you can check and compare my pronunciation with yours, okay? Più chiaro sfavilla. Okay, più Più. This word, which means more, has a stress on the U. And you, <laughs> you should never say Piu. Piu, because this is like a chick. Piu, 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 piu. This is funny. So be careful, okay? You have to know when you find these diphthongs or monosyllables, words that uh, have uh, different vowels closed. Be careful because you have to know them. You have to know how they are pronounced. But if they have a written stress, then you can see it is easier because you can see it. So it is più, più. Don't stay on the I before the U, okay? Okay, so it is più chiaro. And as it is a strong monster, you have here a phrasing double. And più chiaro, più chiaro. You can hear there's a little silence here. Piu, k, k, k. This is not a k, k, like with air through it. It is a k, k, very dry if you want, but it is, um, it is very strong. So it is not k, k, but it is k, 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 k. There is no air through it. So it is piu chiaro, chiaro with flipped R between A and O, chiaro. Again, here we have chiaro, chiaro. Again, there is an I and an A in the word chiaro, and you have to put the stress on the A, chiaro. So it is più chiaro. And sfavilla, it's not that easy, sf, sf, try it. Sf, sf, sf. Don't stay on the S. I just did it for helping you a little bit. But try it. Sf, sf. Sfa, sfa. Sfa, sfa. V, v. Villa. Like my name. Sfa, villa. Okay. Eterge ogni stilla. Eterge ogni nya 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 nya. Like yo, York. Like yo, yo, yo. Ogni, but a little more. Nya. Because you can hear a tongue nya touching the palate. It's not only yo, yo, but it's nya more. Ogni. Stilla, rhyming with sfavilla. So you have eterge ogni stilla. Mm. 
dell'alba che piange dell'alba you have double l in del and then you have have alba which is not double but sounds quite like a double dell'alba can you hear it dell'alba dell'alba che you dell'alba che piange and between che and piange there is a phrase in doubling so you can hear there's a little a little moment of silence che piange che piange che piange col raggio col col don't skip that l it is very important col col raggio try col raggio and the double g here j j raggio you can hear there's a little moment of silence like the double t for example and when we have doubles in italian we have to be very careful because Mm, certain consonants are still phonate during the, the doubling, like the L, double L, dell'alba, while double G and double T, for example, don't phonate. So they have a second, a moment of silence, a suspend silence. So you have raggio in order to do the double G. Otherwise, you say raggio which is not right. It doesn't mean an another thing, but it sounds very bad, so you cannot pronounce it uh, properly if you do it just with one G. So you have to stay there as if you were pronouncing the G, but silently, and then a strong G at the, at the end of it. So it is raggio, raggio. You can hear there's a little noise inside the, the mouth, but we are not really pronouncing it because this is the way we do the double G, okay? And the same happens to the, to the double T. Hmm? Okay, so let's try it again with col ra, col raggio, the two words, col raggio. We link them, okay? Col raggio, you try. And then, col raggio dorato, golden ray, col raggio dorato, many O's here, they help, but careful with the consonants that don't have to sound dorato, dorato, of course you are not going to do that. But sometimes when you are very used to say a different kind of D and different kind of R and of T, it can sound a little bit more um, with hair, air through it. While you shouldn't put air through it at all, okay? Dorato. You try dorato. And a uh, flip to R. Dorato. Okay, so col raggio dorato stay on the o all the time dorato okay articulate you have in gemma the word in gemma you could also hear native speakers saying pronouncing it in gemma with close e in gemma, in gemma. This is quite different, right? So you can you can try both and decide which one is better for your singing, okay? Because this is the the, the real thing that matters, that your sound is good and elegant, okay? So let's try in gemma, you, open E, in gemma. Okay. In gemma ogni. Nya 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 nya. Ogni. 
in gemma ogni. The word ogni, you, you will find it often, so you have to, to learn it because it means each. Each. So it's something that you will find very often. In gemma ogni. In gemma ogni stelo. Or in gem or sorry. In gemma ogni stelo. Even the word stelo, you would find it very often stelo. People from the north of Italy, they would pronounce it more than often stelo. Okay? So you will hear it a lot. Uh, don't be surprised and you can choose again if you uh, find it more easy to sing. So, in gemma ogni stelo or in gemma ogni stelo. And you can hear that the double M here, here is fenating. In gemma, in gemma, okay? E gli astri del cielo. E gli, gli, gli. Be careful with this sound. Even some Italians have difficulty in pronouncing it properly. E gli, gli. E gli astri. E gli astri. Astri. E gli astri del cielo. And you could also find e gli astri del cielo closed e on the word cielo or cielo cielo is the standard diction correct form while cielo is more from the north of Italy again so you can have both options e gli astri del cielo you Second option, e gli astri del cielo, you. Dipinge, dipinge. Can you hear that N again? It's not dipinge, it is dipinge. Very helpful for the mask, for the sound, uh, the sound of your voice. Dipinge, dipinge, mm? dipinge nel prato, dipinge nel prato. I really hope you found this video useful. If you need help from me, you can write to me an email, you can write me on Instagram, you can contact me and write me a comment. If you need lessons online, you can just write to me and we can just get in touch and share some information or do lessons, okay? So, I hope to see you soon again on my channel. Good singing everybody! Bye bye! Thank you.